to start. Well, hello everyone. This is Dr. Shelley Plum with Plum Talk. For those of you that are not familiar with Plum Talk, we are a company that is focused on the promotion of a healthy lifestyle and the enhancement of self-esteem in individuals worldwide. Now, speaking of self-esteem, we are here today to really talk straight about a very important subject, a subject I know that we all think about at some time in our lives, and that is romance. And speaking of romance, we have a wonderful specialist here with us today. Her name is Gladys Marie Clancy. Now, those of you that have not seen her website, Gladys is the author of The Sassy Women's Guide to Appreciating Men. And I want to welcome you, Gladys. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Shelley? I am doing fantastic. Now, I want to tell you, I, I, <laughs> I'll be the first to admit that I, I appreciate men, but I don't always understand them, and I've told you that before. So, you know, we were talking, you know, a while back about the differences between men and women, in particular, how they think. So can you explain what differences you have seen in the way women and men think? Well, there's a lot of basic differences and it's important to understand these to really be able to hmm, maximize your impact let's put it that way men compartmentalize I mean men can separate their work from their relationships women can't for women it's all mixed in together and if they're having an issue with their relationship it's going to affect their business it's going to affect their ability to focus and their ability to be productive their attitude and it's going to be felt by their customers and their co-workers and everybody and a simple explanation for that would be if you look historically, we can go back to the caveman days. Now, the women in the caveman days were by the fire. They were taking care of the children, nurturing the family, and, and basically intuition and compassion were highly developed. They were highly mm, stimulated and, and in the brain of the female cave woman and reading people and knowing their unverbalized needs was necessary for survival of the species men on the oh, other hand yeah yeah and then men on the other hand were out protecting the village you know they're from invaders from the woolly mammoth they were out hunting and so aggression was what was needed for survival of the species and so empathy and compassion were not developed in the brain of the male caveman they couldn't afford it because you know if they started thinking oh I don't want to kill that invader you know then their family would die or if they oh I don't know yeah, I want to you know do this animal you know then everybody would starve to death so male aggression was needed for survival of the species and a healthy male would always meet force with force now of course, men have evolved since then, but I think, as almost every woman can attest to, some of these primal traits are still in existence in men, probably in their DNA. Oh, that's true. You know what? That really puts a different spin on it. I didn't think of it from a, a historical standpoint. So, I mean, you know, when I think about my romantic relationship, I think of mistakes that I have made in the past. Can you tell me, what are some of the common state mistakes that we make as women when it comes to relationships? Well, now this is a little bit of a different spin also, but I think if, if the first thing to do is to accept the fact that it's your responsibility to teach him how you want him to behave with you. And that feeling of insult, you know, that comes, that, mm, that anger that wells up inside of you, comes because you feel like he should already know this. You know, he should already know you don't want to be talked to like that. And so, but if you remember that a healthy man's going to meet force with force, and if he feels from your energy and your words that you think he's a jerk, you know, he's going to see that as an attack and he's going to attack back. And the problem is that powerful women, which all of us business women are all see ourselves as powerful women, we would rather swallow a glass of thumbtacks rather than express vulnerability. You know, I would rather try to convince, cajole, con coerce, manipulate, or threaten him rather than express how we truly feel. And you know, as a businesswoman, you know how to make him listen at work, but what about at home? You know, how exactly do you communicate that you feel like you're being treated badly? And how do you do it in a way that's going to make him listen, that's going to open him up? Well, uh, an emotionally intelligent woman will say, I'm angry. An emotionally unintelligent woman will throw a plate. It's okay to be angry. It's just not okay to throw a plate. you got to communicate how you're feeling. 
you know. And healthy conflict defines the problem, it diffuses defensiveness, and it lets him save face. And oh, it good. opens him up to partner with you to find common ground. And as you really listen, you know, and as you express authentically and vulnerably, you create a space for him to do the same. And that actually deepens the connection in your relationship. Oh, I like that. I like that. And I'm sure that's something that you cover in your course, isn't it? I do. Absolutely. I actually Wonderful. have a script for healthy conflict that you can plug in whatever situation is going on in your life and it gives you that bridge, that entry point so that you can move into that conversation that's going to be productive, not destructive. Right, right. I understand. You know, I'll, I'll share with you. Um, different uh, Plum Talk guests have shared some of their problems that they have with their relationships. And one particular thing that, that seems to be very commonly asked is about that metaphorical spark that we're supposed to have in our romantic lives. And sometimes right. as our relationship matures and progresses, that spark seems to kind of go out sometimes. And what are maybe some three take-home tips that you can extend to our guests to keep that spark uh, glowing bright in, in a romantic relationship? Well, you know, um, to keep the fire burning, there's a few things that you need to, to know. And the first thing is that your man wants you to be happy. Now, I know that sounds simple, but a lot of times yeah. as the relationship starts going on, you forget that, and it becomes a battleground. But just understand, fundamentally, this is, this is one of his emotional needs as a man. He wants you to be happy. And your happiness is actually an aphrodisiac for a man. And oh, if you really? can remember that, it is. It's, it, it makes him, when, you know, you say, you know, I just feel so happy today, you know. And it, it doesn't even have to be for a reason. It just, mm, it ignites, you know, that passion right. in him. It does. That, and that's so that's cool. a simple, that's a simple, simple tip. And then if you realize that women are actually the emotional gateway for men. Now, you may have heard it said, you know, men think with their you-know-what. Well, that's it's a good thing, actually, because your girlishness, you know, your, 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 which is your power, opens him up. It yes. opens up his desire, right. his silliness, his playfulness, and it creates a safe space for him to feel his own emotions, and he wants more. He's intrigued, you know. He's, he's inspired, and he's hungry for it. And, and, and he's actually, it makes him horny, but it always comes from emotion. So, you know, right in the middle of a deep discussion, you know, maybe you're cooking or maybe even a deep discussion that you're having with him, he may want to go to bed with you. And don't take that as lack of interest when it's the opposite. It's, he's moved, you know, he's moved by your discussion, he's moved by your, by your authenticity and your vulnerability. And, and the truth is that boys grow up learning to suck it up, you know. They, people say, oh, you're fine, but they're not fine. And, and then you come along, and you touch him emotionally, and, and suddenly there's, he experiences a safe space for his own feelings, and he wants more, you know? Oh, so if I give you three tips, yeah, the first tip would be to, to just let him know that he makes you happy, you know, and, and appreciate okay. what he does. Appreciation is like oxygen for a man. It's one of their primary emotional needs. And we get into all the different emotional needs of men versus women in, in the course. But that's really very, very fundamental to know. And then allow your girlish nature to come out. You know, lighten up. You know, sometimes we get so right. so caught up with kids and situations. Yeah. And rah, 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 rah. Just, just like let it, just lighten up, be playful. Just Get, let a little bit of a playful nature come out, a lightheartedness, and just be willing to have fun. Just, I mean, I, I know that's fun. just that willingness in your heart to just have fun. And then set him up to succeed at being your knight in shining armor. Every man, I know you may not believe me at this point. You may think, oh, no, he's a grouch. No, every man wants to be your knight in shining armor. And if he's being grouchy, it might be because he doesn't feel like he can succeed at doing that. So if you can set him up to be your knight in shining armor, then that's going to become the way that he sees himself, and it's going to be, become the way that he behaves. 
Right, right. No, I can understand that. Okay. Well, those are wonderful relationship tips. I certainly appreciate it, Gladys. Thank you for joining us today. Well, you know, you you're you're um all of you ladies can learn to do this. And I've got a very special gift for you to help that. I'm offering wonderful. a 20-minute relationship rescue consultation for anybody who's oh, listening. That's yeah, so all you have to do is just go um you know, go to email me, I guess would probably be the best way to do it. Just go to Gladys at sassywomansguide.com, email me, and then I'll be in touch, and we'll set up a time for your personal, just bring your one burning relationship question, whatever that is, just write it down. You can even put it in the email, and then uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll, res we'll work on that, we'll That's resolve it. That sounds great. Well, thank you. And for those of you that are out there, uh, we have popped up right here at Gladys's website. It's sassywomenguide.com. And her email, if you want to take care of her very gracious offer, thank you, Gladys. Her email is gladys at sassywomenguide.com. Now, I want to thank all of you for joining us today. Again, this is Dr. Shelley Plum with Plum Talk. Please feel free to visit our website, plumtalkwomen.com, if you have any ideas for topics, for events, for webinars, anything that you are itching to hear more about. Please uh, feel free to email us at info at plumtalkwomen.com. We look forward to seeing you soon, and uh, until next time.